<clears throat> let's resume this conversation. So I think now it's, it will be very important that the audience takes part in this um, you know, half of this uh, session. Uh, I also would like to, to know more about which were really the eight important questions being discussed throughout the four days you know, of this uh, Signals uh, events last, last week. They are mentioned at the very beginning of the documentary, because, but I didn't understand. I know that some of the questions, because they are listed in the email uh, website. You know, I know one th um, subject I was raised was money, the importance of money and also some local issues which are always important because we are citizens of the world, but we are also local citizens because our surroundings are close to us and we live in a place, we don't live in the world, although we can communicate with the rest of the world, but we live in a place, we live in Helsinki or in the district of Helsinki, and it's very important to know what are the main problems there, housing problems, uh, uh, all kind of problems, the increase of, of rent, uh, uh, the lack of schools, etc., etc. I'm, I'm pretty sure that those um, subjects were, were raised, you know. But, but I think before before we we open up this discussion to the rest of the audience, I think it would be interesting to not to forget one of the the things that um, was in Miroslav's uh, mind at the very beginning, you know. You thought of using this um, semaphore flag signaling system uh, in connection to something that worries you, uh, which is uh, what I'm trying to explain now. What would happen is, uh, if there's an energy crisis and uh, the world as we know it collapses, there's no electricity and we cannot communicate with all this amount of uh, devices we are so much used to now. What would happen? You know, is, so this is a scenario which is quite likely. It could happen. We, we have heard about some blackouts. You know? The famous one in New York, but some others uh, in other places. Also here in Helsinki, I think, I've heard there was a, a blackout in some areas of, of uh, the Finnish capital. So that was the, the question you wanted to ask initially, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, uh, the whole project <clears throat> was about the process. It was a different part of this process, you know, trying to get people closer to each other. So this uh, economic crisis or energetic crisis was just a pretext to, mm -hmm. to, to try to name the problems which are important for us, or things which are important for us. So nowadays, uh, hmm. but what was important in this project was also, beside of this, was the presence of human. Actually, there were different levels of different important levels. And one of them, for sure, was the time when the people been present on the streets. You know, when they created a kind of the life sculptures you know, or playing the kind of the Tai Chi figures in the space. So it was very brave decision, because usually we, this kind of presence nowadays is only represented uh, uh, by people usually in the big towns when they stand on something, they play the role of something. Yes, I don't know what is the name of English, the ones who are earning money and playing the figure who stands, mm -hmm. doesn't move, or how you call it? Mimes, I don't know, that's the word they use. Yes, yeah, so it was a kind of the brave, because actually this mimes are only the ones so far who represent mm -hmm. something on the street, you know, so like the street actors. So this acting on the street was, uh, it was also our days uh, quite important gesture of showing that we we don't have only the fingers which uh, touch the screens of our uh, phones or screens of our tablets, but also that the gesture can be much wider and the gesture can represent body. And actually, there is less and less situation where we can show our body in the public situation. Of course, we can show our bodies in the jogging clubs, yes, but this is a small circle, and very often you do it in front of the mirror, or you do it in front of the big window when people see you, but you are in the kind of the aquarium. But this was the situation like one-to-one, -one, the presence of the real human bodies 
showing something, you know, using the kind of the alphabet which is understood for them. So this was important part of the project. And another important part of the project was this, the place which, which was a basic thing of this project, the place which was called communication point. This was the point where the information has been sent from this different part of the town. Then once it was uh, claimed what information it is, uh, then it was discussion, very important part of this, different in different communication points, of course, but, uh, but this was this something, so it, the message was not carried just for fun or for to say hello or goodbye, but just to, to say something, what is important for, for them. And the, another important part was, which ended this uh, f short film, was an element of the, of the fun and play and uh, enjoying all these events, which is, so there's different elements, you know, first, at the, at the very beginning was this uh, practicing this alphabet, so it was like the, the whole process, you know, like education, then learning, then presenting this, then discussing on the higher level, and then uh, enjoying. The, so, so I think in some way, from my point of view, it, it was a whole package, you know, and I was quite pleased that I could use my, uh, let's say, artistic possibilities. In, I call it like this because, you know, I, I was asked to do something. You know, I could make a huge sculpture or mm -hmm. whatever. But I decided to to activate people to to make these gestures, which can mean something. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> well, um. Um, I was a bit struck when I saw these images. I saw these people performing this uh, um, flag alphabet on the streets of, of Helsinki that most of the people who uh, passed by didn't quite react. Maybe a bit, they were a bit de deadpan, they were a bit um, motionless, I don't know. Maybe it's, it's, a false react it's a false impression. And because I come from a, a southern country and I presume, maybe I'm wrong, that people would be surprised to see someone using uh, red flags on the street that maybe they would approach them and would ask, what are you doing? What is this for? What is the purpose of this uh, uh, performance or activity? But maybe I might be wrong. So m maybe you can, you can have answer this question. Someone from the audience? Because of course I wasn't here last week, so I could not witness what, what happened. Maybe someone would like to say his or her word. I just think the explanation is that if a Finn sees something he or she doesn't understand in the street, uh, we'll just ignore it. Mm -hmm. I mean, sorry. <laughs> not, 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 not I'm sorry, now it's me. I, I didn't get what you said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, well, <clears throat> okay, and a, a question then. Uh, I didn't see the flags in the street. Uh, if I did, I wouldn't understand what they said. It's, uh, for me, maybe the opposite of communication. Mm -hmm. uh, why wouldn't I ask? Well, it's, I, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So you said this project is really against communication. You felt it as, uh, as a failure somehow. Uh, when I, I only watched this film. Yes, yes. But uh, yes, uh, that was my feeling. Uh, did you think it succeeded? Mm -hmm. did, uh, you weren't here, but was, uh, am I completely wrong? Is, uh, was there not any disappointment about this project? 
I mm. felt that there were quite little people at these communication points. It looks like that on the film. Mm -hmm. That was a question. That was a question. Uh, if, uh, did you expect more people to participate? I think the success was doing this, uh, not the, in the number of people, because I don't think that we measure uh, the, 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 the success by numbers. We, our days, yes, we do, but this action was against this way of thinking. It was about activating people, and, if, and it was about volunteering. It was not about uh, pushing the people or using the schools for performing this, and then we could have a better visual presence represented by the numbers. And this, is, this was not about beating the records. It was about people who would like to do it. And I think once they decided to participate, it's fine, you know. So it was not, it was so also, the, you know, the success, this is not the word which I have in my vocabulary, actually. This is something what I avoid. So uh, people can take uh, knowledge from the mistakes, from imperfection, not, not from the success and from the braveness. And I mean, not from, uh, so, so for me, I was not disappointed with this, as I could see the people active, and they did, did it for free. Uh, there's someone else who would like to say something? <clears throat> Thanks. Uh, I could say something about different reactions from the people on the streets, because uh, last summer, I think it was, uh, Miroslav came one morning rushing from the hotel to the office and said, now I know what we are going to do. And then he asked, uh, Paula was there and I was there, who was the fourth? We, Carolina, and we, <laughs> we, we are told to go to the corners of Erikin Katu and Lönnrutin Katu and Mannerheimintie, and we had just white papers, Anelosia, and we had to wave to each other so that Miroslav would see if it works. And mm -hmm. actually, the older lady at the the Yrjön Katu and and uh, Karevan Katu corner came to Karol, uh, yeah, and asked, "What are you trying to say?" So it. Uh, Mm -hmm. We are different. There are Finns who, who really ask the question then and wonder <laughs> what's happening. Hmm. Someone else could I say something? Are you happy to open this space for some questions? Are yeah. you ready for that? Um, I was just really interested in, in relation to this lady's question. And I'd been thinking about the pine needles, Miroslav, and what you were saying about the conservator in the museum and the idea of a, of a lifespan. And of course, you taught a number of people a language that they may not have cause to use for a long time, if, if at all. But I wondered whether that too, of course, is a pretext, just like the economic crisis was a pretext to bring people together, teaching people the semaphore is a pretext to give them an opportunity to be able to talk to one another and meet and commune. I just wondered if you could say something about how much you think about the afterlife of these works, about those ideas of what will live on afterwards. So, uh, what was the question? <laughs> uh, broadly speaking, about the afterlife of a work. Um, this is a work in which you know there are uh, a significant number mm. of people involved. Yes. Yes. I mean, what happened was rather um, closer, this gesture was rather closer to the gesture of performance gesture. So uh, the definition of what to do with this afterwards is like, for example, the question regarding the performance art, what, how to preserve it 
is it if it will be only documentation or photo or video or what shall we do with this or it just took place and there is uh, but this is what i often say about my art which is very often related to like for example the project at the tate to the darkness or it's related to the smell but anyway or the sound uh, this are the situation when uh, the person who experienced this is in the position of the witness so and you can be witness or not you know it's like the one who's been at the Tate experienced something in this project, how it is. But the ones who haven't been there, they, they only see it on the photos and films, and they, 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 they don't have any idea what was the, the project was about. So, for example, doing this gestures on the street, it was also the situation when some people could see it, some people some people knew, most of, them peop most of the people didn't know what is this, but they, in some way, if they wanted or not, they became the witness of what happened. And then it were the witness of this communication point. So, and, so for me, this is important in this preservation of, of this work. That some of the people uh, have been touched with this or not, but, but they saw it or experienced, they've been in this situation. But documentation can be better or worse, you know. It could be more logic, uh, actually. But uh, in the case of the works like this, everything is about being witness, not, not about if it's good or bad documentation out of a project that uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if I a little bit try to answer. But here we have one witness, I think. I don't know if this uh, girl is still there, because just after the presentation of the project, I got the email for the Polish art student here in the Academy of Helsinki that she uh, saw some activities on the street and then she didn't know what is this. Maybe you would like to say something about your experience, because you are the witness. Can we...? <clears throat> Hello. Oh, it's... I'm a bit stressed now, I think. <laughs> well, as a witness, it was, of course, um, important for me and interesting. First, I was just walking and I see people doing something strange with the camera and I thought maybe it's like a film or somebody is shooting, but it, then it repeat on the street many times. And then I was talking with some artists in the coffee and then I heard about uh, that you are in the, invited as an artist in, uh, to Helsinki to the IHME festival. And then it was like the, telling the story or somebody was telling um, what has happened and I personally appreciate it because it's not important about the documentation or about the artwork or about putting something to the gallery. It's just like the act and uh, giving the possibility to the people to do something for the people. And I think that was important and nothing else is really needed. That's, that's the, my impression. I would like to add up a little thing, small thing, yeah. Uh, I, I do really think that this um, singles project relates very much to former works by Miroslav because um, the, the, the importance of physicality is very much present 
in this project, you know? Because this project, as far as I understood it, is about getting together, about creating situations in which people have to share concerns, uh, political viewpoints, social viewpoints, emotional uh, experiences. So the body is there. And it's about um, negating uh, isolation. It's about strengthening you know, the importance of, of uh, communicating things. So that's really something that has been very much present from the very beginning in Emilio's work. So I think really it really makes sense. You know? Another question that maybe we might be interested in asking is whether Miroslav tried to uh, dilute or to erode the, um, the status of, uh, of the artist's authorship by, you know, let's say, uh, encouraging people to participate in an activity in which um, everything is shared. Maybe there was something that was also in the back of your mind somehow, you know? because sometimes, you know, the art world still is very much based about the idea of genuses. This is something which is, is still exists. It doesn't, it hasn't disappeared, you know. The syndrome of Andy Warhol, of Salvador Dali, of Damien Hirst is still in our society and in the art world, you know. So um, that's why the importance of projects such as this one in, in, in Helsinki, which are completely different because they are really uh, erasing this barrier between the artist, the creator, and, and the audience, and the people who are just listening and being passive. So I think this is really important to, to stress. Paula? So I, I think that um, there are some issues, especially for the English-speaking audience, that should be brought up in this moment. Um, to begin with, um, when Miroslav proposed this work to us, we decided that we would announce an open call to any communities in, the, in Helsinki to apply. And we got applications and we accepted uh, all of them. And uh, there were eight communities in the end who participated and who were willing to to um, take care of um, or, or to collaborate with us, the festival, in order to realize this, this project. And uh, also the, um, and in, at the moment of uh, ap applying, the communities would already at that point present their most important question also. So that we started to elaborate how to organize the discussion and also how to formulate the messages in semaphore alphabets and so on. So we have been working together for six months. And uh, I would really like to thank you at this, this point, because I see many of you here, and that it has been very, very good collaboration with all of you. And another point, the first question from the audience, it's actually very important about the audience for this work, because we discussed this matter with Miroslav that, that what is the expectation to about the audience. And I remember very clearly that it was, it was clear to you in the beginning that the most important audience is the participants. Because we are really creating a platform for them to discuss their most important questions. But of course it was very important to open these platforms also to other people to participate and share these most important questions. More interventions? Yes. Someone lifted his hand. Uh, this is uh, maybe a little more personal question to you, Miroslav. Um, what is the main feeling for you? Is this, is, was this work uh, pessimistic or optimistic to you? Let me tell something about it. Uh, because the act of using these flags, as you already have told us, that it's, it's a method of communicating when nothing else is possible. <laughs> and uh, somehow, looking at the video, it, it, it's, it was quite melancholy, if not sad. It was like accepting the inevitable catastrophe, pre preparing for it. So when it comes, we can, we can use this to communicate. Of course, the questions they communicated and thoughts were optimistic and 
related to the future. But the act itself is, was, uh, it was quite... You got me thinking, I have to admit. <laughs> what do you say about this? Well, uh, you know, we always talk about the crisis, that it will come, but that we, we think that it will never come to us in some way. So we always uh, say, okay, okay, but uh, I, I wish that, uh, I hope that there, there will be not necessity to use these flags in future, but uh, because of the serious crisis or something like this, and then we can use it rather for the communication which uh, will help us to to be healthy and uh, and we can treat it rather as exercising in the in the space which will and the, the inf messages which we will send will be rather optimistic but we never know you know how it will be but uh, It's hard to say if it's optimistic or pessimistic, really. I, 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 I don't know the answer, but I don't know if the problems uh, created in the communication point, if they were optimistic or pessimistic also. Maybe I, I will read the, because this was a point of, of in this communication point, this information, so I don't know if they were c clear enough, but the subjects were uh, the price of money in the center or in the periphery, do appreciate it, also the suburbs, multi-layered Puanavori of the people, Malmi's heart, railroads and the parks, how to activate people to voluntary activities, Protect me, protect me, we do it ourselves. So I don't know if, for example, if there is more optimism in it, what I read, or it's more pessimism. It's like the discussions also were quite interesting because, uh, so I, also I didn't get if the result of this discussion is positive or negative because we always came to the point that that somebody wants to take the green ground, yes, and there the, 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 there is a problem of suburb, and and what will be the solution? So, because I think in each of this, uh, in most of these uh, signals, were a kind of the worries about us living in the local context. So it were the signal of the worries. And this, that's why this definition, pessimistic, optimistic, is very hard to create. You know, if the worry optimistic, because we are worried, or if it's pessimistic. So uh, but this is what I said earlier, that, uh, that I hope that that the fact that if I don't know if it's, if it's something wrong with this, you know. So I think that the state of don't know or... Actually, it's a pity that we don't have uh, somebody with us who could uh, watch all these four discussions and could make the, the, the comments, somebody from the field of the philosophy or the other, somebody wiser than me, you know, I, I was just an artist, I, I gave the idea of doing something, but uh, actually I'm missing a little bit this uh, reaction or comments of, of somebody who could make like kind of the resume, saying already not from the artistic point of view, because what was important for me, it was the start of this, uh, to, to make a bow, and to give the arrows 
but then I think that the targets and the shape of the targets and the result of this uh, shooting could be analyzed by, by somebody else, I think, and this would be much, it could be much more professional, I would say. Well, related to what um, Miroslav just said, maybe it would be interesting to um, ask the question, uh, once the Signals project is over, is there going to be a kind of uh, continuity? The people who have got uh, together in the previous weeks and who participated in the events last week, um, I'm sure something has, uh, is born from that contact. I don't know exactly what, because I wasn't here, but maybe those people knew each other uh, beforehand, or maybe those people are already uh, quite active because they, they volunteer to participate in these groups, and they, 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 are, they, be, they belong to a profile of, uh, of a population which is more politically uh, committed. I don't know, you know. But the question I'm very interested to know whether is there a possibility of continuing uh, this, this project or an evolution of this project? Because I'm sure that some of the burning questions that were raised during the, um, the different meetings of the groups you know, uh, are not going to disappear. In, in three or four weeks, we cannot solve, we cannot uh, really sort out so many problems, you know. I'm sure those problems are going to be here as there are problems in any other, any other part of the world. So what is going to happen? So this is a question I'm asking, particularly to the people who participated in the groups, you know. Uh, are they going to keep meeting? Or is this something, like an experience which was uh, uh, an occasional experience? Uh, there's not going to be anything else coming out from that. I don't know if someone has an answer or... Okay, um, I'm one of those uh, flag people from around Helsinki. Um, I'm from Kivinokka area, and um, we wanted to uh, take part of this piece of art because we felt that this could be a new way to tell about um, the problem of our communi community uh, so that the whole city would hear us or at least see the flags, <laughs> if not understanding what we're saying. Um, Kivinokka area is an old uh, summer cottage area, uh, and at the moment uh, there are some plans to uh, build housing in the area, because it's kind of a near the city and uh, easy to access with the uh, subway, and uh, so it's kind of a... It would be interesting for some people to build it kind of full of housing. But um, our community is uh, more keen to keep the place the way it is, so that uh, inhabitants of Helsinki would still be able to hang around there uh, during their free time in summer especially, but of course in the winter time too. So we thought that this could be something to be kind of helpful for our process. And uh, we've been having a lot of uh, different kind of discussions about this with politicians and other people who think the same way as we do. Uh, but this time we wanted to do it differently. We wanted to not to discuss if we should do this or that or build or not. We wanted to talk about the future, how people would want Kivinokka to be. So for us, this was very positive approach. And for us, it was more like more about hope and nice things and things that we wanted to happen. And uh, I think the discussion at Kulosari mentioned last weekend was really useful and important because actually it bring all these parts together. There were also someone from the uh, town planning committee, or how do you call it in, in English, and uh, she was really thinking quite quite same things as we do. 
and um, there were also people from communities around the area and actually we all shared the same idea. Why not keep giving this way and maybe make it even better? So we were very happy to take part of this project and uh, I think these signals kind of, we hope that it make a difference at least in a small scale, but thank you. Thank you. It's good that you call it uh, in this project, that you didn't call it uh, work because work of art, I, I, I'm rather closer to this definition of this, what we, what we made, the project and process, not work of art of Miroslav Balka. So this is closer to me, this definition of the, of the project. And I was just one of the elements of this and you are not my work of art. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have the first uh, messages on the screen. Um, there's one critical one, middle-class people with middle-class problems. Uh, but uh, I, I suppose the idea was here to provide a platform for communication, not to take, uh, to, not to say what kind of issues are appropriate for discussion on this platform? This is a question. Wasn't it so that uh, you uh, wanted to provide means of communication, not to tell people what kind of uh, uh, messages they should be sending? Shall I tell? You want to say more? Well, I suppose you you weren't trying at all to uh, to say to people what they have to think and how how they have to get organized and what kind of projects they have to uh, encourage and what kind of things they have to do. I suppose it's just about setting out like an open field to be completely uh, stimulated and by the people uh, by the people's um, activities and actions. So it's a very open work. I don't think he was, you were trying to. Um, oblige people to behave in, in a particular way or to emphasize some subjects and get rid of others. I think it was, uh, it was more about encouraging and giving the opportunity to, to um, impulse something, the, something which is creative, you know, I think, as far as I understood it. Hmm. Paula? Um, there's a very important note in Finnish which brings another aspect of the project. It says that uh, the event brought a co it, it uh, created a connection between different parts of the city because in each communication point there were two communities from the city that would not necessarily know very much about each other or each other's activities before this project. So this had a multi-layered uh, community, um, how do you say, collective aspects. It uh, encouraged collective experiences on many levels. People were learning together these semaphore signals and they started already in January and almost met every week. And uh, also this meeting the other collectives and sharing experiences, sharing the possibilities to collaborate in the future also. It, it's uh, also a very important part of this project. And it's here the example is is the communities of uh, Roihuvuori and Punavuori, which are in very different parts of the city. Punavuori in the south uh, of the center, and uh, Roihuvuori being in the being an eastern suburb. I would be very happy if uh, some of the participating communities would like to share more of their own experiences, because I can see you, <laughs> and I'm very happy that you came. Can I propose? Yeah, and maybe not in the form of the question to me, but uh, just in the way of telling about experience, our own experience, because this is more important than... Yes, me. I have a, a short question about the tempo of the signaling. You know, um, I thank you very much for the, for the possibility that I, I could participate with the flags, but... Um, it was, uh, we, we got your instructions that uh, make it very slow. 
and like um, as slow as your breathing. And I loved it very much. So how important did you, f did you think that the tempo of the signaling was for you? Actually, I, I, I was always on the side of this uh, Tai Chi practice, which uh, I think that this presence, uh, uh, very slow motion of the gesture, and uh, give give us more. And then we are really performing in in the. This is extra, but when, when we also using this extra time, and there's times which are very running, but we have more time to not run, to not send the fast text messages, but just to send very slow message. But then I was corrected by some other groups, but this is too slow. And uh, the direction was that the message should be sent faster. So, of course, I, I had to agree with this tempo and the speed, which was very individual. Actually, different groups, I had the pleasure to watch most of them. Uh, they have their own speed, which is also good in this project. But, uh, my favorite, if I could say, is as always as slow as possible, because, well, but I'm happy, I mean, with any gesture you made and, and how, how you feel in your gestures, that's more important than, because I, in this project I really wanted to reduce this, uh, this, artistic side and my artistic expectation of this slow motion maybe they shouldn't be told so there are two more messages uh, new messages may i translate them the, the first one is sort of difficult to translate but i try uh, the art that makes people participate creates democratic culture that is not just mere consumption and the other one is, um, I learned a new language. I um, learned to know new people. In uh, Arabian Ranta, people came to ask me, what is it all about? I think signals is more optimistic than pessimistic. Uh, communication is possible, uh, also in other means uh, than words. For example, what I, what I said in this film, the, the short sentence that art today is about we. Uh, and I think that uh, when we watch what's going on in the world, and uh, never people were so close to each other as they are now, in uh, confronted with this economic crisis which happened to us. So also, I think, on the field of art, we, we should also build a little bit different definition of, of, uh, of exchange, of art exchange. So I think that that's the time when also the viewer or, or the witness should be more noticed, you know. And as you said, uh, Juan, uh, you know, this are, these times are not so egoistic as this kind of this egoistic gestures of the great artists from the past. This is also, nowadays is there is a possibility to, to share things uh, in more horizontal way. And the signals were more about horizontal presence. It were the lines of signals sent in the space. It has nothing to do with the hierarchy and the verticality of the, of the world. It was also the kind of the gesture of, of showing that Import decisions are not made from the center, from the center to to the suburbs, from the head to the some other lower parts of the body. But it's the decisions are 
can can be also um, sent on this horizontal levels, and this is the communication which should be important for us. Not that I am taller, you are smaller, who is more important. That's also, I, I in this project, I, I try to reduce very much uh, this position of the artist. And I think with time, I am more responsible for the... Um, I mean, I am reducing my artistic ego with time, you know, for example, I, I'm teaching from 10 years in the Academy of Fine in Warsaw, and I treat it as a kind of the mission and the, the possibilities of sharing my experience. I don't have to do it for money because uh, it's very low salary, so it doesn't change my life. But, but this is a time in life, in my life, when I found that uh, yeah, but I can also discuss a little bit my steps our days, how they should look like, you know, how to how to change, how to react for the times as well, you know, how to melt this uh, mm, castles of the egoism which always follow art. There's a new message, I'll translate it quickly. Um, it was special about this event that it was free for everybody. So it's equality regardless of your in income. Is there anybody who would like to ask a question? I think our time is sort of running out, but there is a question. Can I? Uh, hello. Um, I, I would start to congratulate the IMSHA festival and Miroslav for this project and uh, allow us to, to be discussing about uh, all those uh, matters. Uh, and I will start to make uh, like two comments. The first about the strange or not to be strange. Uh, sorry, I don't uh, know your name. I know that you are from Spanish. But yeah. And uh, when you uh, commented that um, the people in the street doesn't uh, react uh, to the to these people who are uh, dealing with the flags. I, I'm, I'm also from the south, and um, <clears throat> I realize that uh, nowadays in the big cities, as you have, can be in Madrid or in Barcelona or in Lisbon, there are many uh, those mimos that uh, were talking about. They are performing uh, mm -hmm. Egyptian uh, figures or whatever. And uh, the people doesn't react so much. I think this is now a question of nowadays, because if we imagine that there are uh, somebody, some workers, uh, measure with the rules, the, to the, to the topography of the, the terrain, the people goes and doesn't care about it. I think this is a problem of uh, the big cities uh, nowadays. The people doesn't react if you have a disease and suddenly the people goes away and uh, don't care about the human beings in general. So this is just that. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, for me, this, um, uh, the second comment is um, uh, related to uh, communication. And uh, two things were uh, also put here in the table. The fra uh, fragility of uh, communication if there is a blackout. But what uh, somehow uh, the project uh, highlights is that human being, and I, I'm looking for the positive way, uh, is very uh, creative. And uh, the human being has always the ability to communicate, even before writing, if we go back to prehistory. <laughs> and uh, uh, nowadays, of course, we are so blind for the communication. We live in a world of communication. We are uh, 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 almost every second to, to receive information from uh, uh, billboards, from uh, SMS, for whatever. And the, the, what we should develop, and the, it's a, the, like a filter of about what is important. And for me, this, this project has also um, a big virtue, uh, and uh, uh, is um, we can integrate it or call it like a, a social art project somehow, that involved, I mean, uh, um, uh, I don't know how many people was involved, but for sure that the, 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 
to be involved in, in this project were very important. I'm not, I don't know what is going to be on, on future. Uh, but the, uh, and the first question is for the people who are involved in the project. I would like to, so far, they, they have discussing issues of art. Uh, so far, you, uh, they have discussion the, the uh, project uh, life of uh, Miroslav Balka. Once we can see that uh, some, some uh, the first works are related to, to his roots and to his uh, country history, and nowadays he are, he's creating other kind of art. So um, the first question, as I said, it was for the people who are more directly participating here, if they somehow uh, have discussed the language of art of Miroslav. Um, also, I think this project was important because if I was in the project, it's naturally that I have commented uh, with my friends or if I arrive at home and I said, uh, I participate in this or this, I have done this or that. Uh, so uh, I would like to, 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 um, to, re to get some information about the people if they are discussing uh, issues of art. Uh, so this is the first question. And for Miroslav, exactly, uh, I didn't see in your uh, artistical uh, life uh, since the from the beginning, when you start with uh, rela uh, creating your uh, artist uh, speech more related to your roots, to ordinary objects and uh, uh, your, uh, the history of your country, and uh, nowadays with this more uh, what we can p call public uh, art. Okay, thank you. Well, I think the first question is addressed to the people uh, who participated in the um, event last week, so I don't know who would like to answer that. Did you discuss about art issues and about uh, Miroslav Balka's art, about his evolution, his traje uh, trajectory? I don't know, <laughs> so I have to answer about it. Yes or no? <laughs> And if yes, what exactly? <laughs> Somebody please say something. Hmm? You didn't? Okay. Hello, I'm one of the flag people as well. So, I think our process in Arabian Randa was that we really didn't talk about art at all. We talked about flags, and it was mainly a bodily experience during the practice. And we were learning a new language. And of course, we had this question uh, that we were presenting. But we were a group of, group of people who didn't really know each other before. So for us, it was more a social event as well. And the question came from our organization, or Artova RU. And I really didn't have had anything to do with Artova before. But I had been living in the area for a few years already. So it kind of uh, gave me a gateway to somehow be, be more a part of my neighborhood. And well. I kind of got involved with the project because it was art, but that status really wasn't the main focus for us. Okay. So I think it's, I don't mind that you didn't discuss my art <laughs> and my, what, what I did, so uh, it's not the problem uh, for me and maybe it's good. And uh, at what you said about this filter of communication, I think is interesting because uh, maybe this work was a kind of yes uh, occasion to try to build a filter for our uh, presence in the world, which sends too many communications, the communi com communicates, uh, which. Uh, 
usually most of them are not important for us and has nothing to do with our lives. However, we are fit with, the, with them and we have a feeling that uh, uh, this is important. However, it's not necessary. And uh, I found uh, this project which I made here in the relation with my earlier work uh, in some way connected. Because I think that, uh, of course, I could, you know, this first film which we saw ab uh, about my art, you know, it was too much about this Holocaust site. So actually, maybe it put too much uh, weight, historical weight. So I, I don't know if it was really necessary to watch this film uh, in the context of this project which I made here, uh, because the weight of Holocaust is so heavy that there is no, no other weight with, which can be measured, which could be related to this weight. Uh, but uh, as, uh, as I said, this is the presence of the people and in different ways is always important for me. So in this project, the presence of people performing the signals was very important. And each, and the fact that we could, that people had to see each other, you know, it was important. Um, the fact that they got this eye contact was also important. And each of the participants has its own history. You know, they are not just uh, anonymous people. They were not the, just the, uh, the automats uh, carrying the flags. It was a signal sent by real three-dimensional persons who were carrying beside the signals also their problems. So. So in this, I found relation with my work in some way, if it was a question or not. So at this point, I think we should be wrapping up because we have uh, uh, gone over time. I will just uh, mention that there has been uh, a, a question about uh, can you uh, really have an impact with the art in society? And people here have answered like this, yes, 90%. So we here today seem to believe that you can do, uh, do an impact on society with art, and maybe it's uh, also part of this work. Thank you very much. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank you very much the, all the people who participate in this project, sending the signals. Thank you so much. And thank you, Paula and Tula and Ichme uh, for inviting me for this project. I really appreciate it. And thanks a lot.